do you want to be more efficient in 2025 with your input dollars? If so, follow along with me because I'm going through my Bex PFR book and one of the studies I talk about is this nitrogen um, rate study. And I thought it's kind of interesting because the, in their control, they used 0.77 as their control of pounds of nitrogen per bushel. And when they tested, they did with like 60 units of you know, two by two and then another 70, 70 units of E3. And then they would just kept on going 60 units again, 100 units, 130 units, 160 units, 190 units of E3. So they start out at like 0.77 as a control. They go all the way down to one pound of nitrogen per bushel. I hope you guys are following along. Anyhow, the point is the one that won the plot was not one pound of my nitrogen per bushel. The one that won the plot was 0.65. It actually did better than the control. So 0.65 um, pounds of nitrogen per bushel, interestingly enough, did better than the control by $22.94. So it stands to reason that by simply reducing our nitrogen use and placing it where it should be, we can increase our efficiency and put dollars back in our pocket. And if that's of interest to you guys, I think you would get a lot about our fundamentals of agronomy training. It's coming up. There's probably one near you. If you drop the word profit in the comments, we can get in touch with you and we'll let you know how you can get registered to come. But being efficient with our dollars, guys, is huge. And I really think you would get a lot out of it. Maybe it's something just as simple as lowering your, your nitrogen use efficiency from one to point seven seven and from then 0.77 to 0.65 just going that much was another twenty three dollars